something I grew up making, like it's like you're doubting me, like I could make <laughs> Come on man. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy new year! Good happy new year babe. Happy new year! Our very first video in 2021. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a boring video, no just kidding. It's uh, We're taking it easy today, so we're not doing anything, we're not traveling, we're just gonna be at home. So we're just gonna share with you a little lifestyle at home. Uh, we're just about to have breakfast. Take the dogs uh, to this park. I think we've mentioned it to you guys before, but we've never actually shown you it, so we're gonna take the camera. Along. Yeah, so we're taking the boys out to the, the most amazing dog park in uh, the Tampa Bay area, I think. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, we're gonna have breakfast. best place because you'll see when we get there we get to like take the dogs off their leash and let them run with all the other dogs and it's, it's great because then we get to walk around we don't have to be pull, being pulled on the leashes <clears throat> and they get to run free and kind of like be with the other animals so it's a pretty good experience we wish we could live a little closer so we could do it more often because we need to start in 2021 we said we were going to make sure that the dogs have more exercise every week than we do. Um, we all need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be getting exercise too. Yeah. Now that you got a break from what keeps you moving, you can put your books right back. Alright, we've been here at Enterprise Park for a while now. I think we've done like four laps. And the dogs are just like running wild and crazy. They're meeting other dogs and just running around. Come on Tobes! Got finished at the park. I think it was a successful trip. The boys seem tired. Yeah. They'll be laying down in a few minutes, sleeping on the way home. If it was successful, um, it should make uh, the Sunday go a little bit smoother because they should have a lot less energy and be relaxed at home and not be running around like maniacs and tearing apart plants. Because that's normal life. But. Yeah, so I think we're gonna stop at the store and get some stuff we need for a crock pot dinner we're gonna make tonight. And then we're gonna head home. We are back at home and Amanda's preparing dinner at one o'clock today. Crock pot, it's gonna sit for like six hours. Yeah. What are we, what are we gonna have for lunch instead? It's my first time making it's French onion crab pot chicken. So it's like French onion soup, but it's gonna have chicken in it too. And then uh, Derek's gonna show us how to make something special that's eat in Africa. <laughs> Yeah? Okay. So, we've been relaxing literally about almost all day and we, we're doing some work. Uh, we are hoping to make a cool video for you guys for next week. I think we'll be shooting uh, next week. And then, um, yeah. So, we're excited about it. So, that's what we're working on. Um, the entire afternoon as a matter of fact and now we are in our garden so we're gonna show you our garden here walk us through what's going on in our garden baby well we've got a lot of plants under this palm tree because out of all three this one gives no shade so when the sun's beating it doesn't 
kill the plants. We got celery. It's been drying for a while. It's pretty much ready. It's not gonna grow the same size as like at the store, but it grew pretty well. And these are our cabbages. This is the first time we're growing red cabbage because we grew green ones and we picked them in ate them. They're just those are growing really well. I don't know what's in some of these. I think these are carrots. Right? Mm hmm I think we made one of them possibly some onions. Yeah. We've got bok choy over there too that grew pretty well, so we decided to grow more. These came from seeds. So they're growing pretty good for coming from seeds, right? Mm-hmm. And this is one of our many tomato plants. We finally got the big tomato growing. I think there's another one over here. Oh, there's one there too. We'll see what happens because we've had really bad luck with tomatoes. This is our first time growing cauliflower. And then we've been growing these broccolis for about 40 years. <laughs> and they finally, we didn't think that they were gonna actually sprout because they were just this part of the stock part forever. And all of a sudden, all they sprouted. So we gotta cut them this week and eat them. And then this is the spinach. It's growing like freaking mad. We're gonna cut some of that and actually make it tonight for the greens for our part of our dinner. I've never seen, I don't even know if it is spinach. You think it's spinach? It is spinach, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's growing like crazy. I am cutting some garlic here to cook some spinach we harvested from our garden. Um, and then we're gonna make some shima. So shima is a Zambian staple. So I'm from Zambia originally. So um, we're gonna make a, a Zambian meal. Where is Zambia? Zambia is in southern part of Africa. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I think I can show you on the map where it's at. Um, yeah, so we're making a traditional Zambian uh, meal with some, uh, I don't know about spinach, spinach is not Zambian, <laughs> but we're incorporating because usually Nishima comes with, you make it with cornmeal and then uh, you eat it with vegetables and the meat. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah, Derek's cutting up the garlic and the shallots because remember I was telling you guys earlier, whenever we, for some reason out of all the vegetables, the only ones that didn't taste well, it, like raw, were the lettuce and the spinach. They tasted like earthy, like dirt. I don't know how else to explain it. And, but if we saute them with like some oil and some garlic and shallots and whatever other vegetables, it tastes amazing. So we just can't eat it like a salad, but. And then uh, the Nishima, yeah, it's like, it doesn't have any flavor. It's almost like, I think in America, the closest thing I can think of is like a dumpling. Or because grits. Grits without. Yeah, the texture is like grits, grits, but firmer. But in terms of what it does, it's the same as dumplings because, you know, usually you make dumplings and you put them in things and they don't taste like anything by themselves, but they take on the flavor of what you put them with. That's what you do with the Nishima. It's like you roll it up and you dip it in your gravy and it soaks up the gravy and you eat it. Right? Yes. We've been together for almost four years. Our four year anniversary is gonna be this year in March and never once have I seen him make Nishima. So it's gonna be interesting. It's something that you grow up with. You have you grow up knowing how to make it. So it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to ride a bicycle, you never unlearn it. So it's the same thing with Shima. I don't think I can ride a bicycle right now, so... <laughs> When's it gonna go in there? Hmm? When does it go in? Now. And then how do we time the other vegetables? Hmm? What about the other greens? The other greens would, won't take a lot of time, so... We'll be done! Is 
The only time I ever had it, well, I've had it twice. I had it once in North Carolina, and then I had it once where we had a party here, and a bunch of um, Zambian friends came over, and the women cooked in here, and oh my god, it looked like my freaking kitchen blew up. There was cornmeal everywhere. <laughs> but I will say, after they were done cooking, they like literally cleaned everything up like spotless. So I was like, it's okay. And now what happens? So this has to simmer. Mm -hmm. It has to boil a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, how do you know how, how like... Oh no, here we go. It can be, it can be dangerous. <laughs> it's to, going everywhere. Yeah. So it, the way it boils, it can be dangerous once it starts bubbling up and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, well, like, how do you know how much to use so that it doesn't get too thick or too thin? Oh, uh, you just, you just be careful. Um, you, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's, you would know, like, when it's getting hard when you're cooking it, you, you know. Okay. You know. There's no, like, set recipe for it. Jeez, mm. How did it come out? Is it to? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you didn't trust me, huh? No. <laughs> Look at this. Thing. I mean, I make. Look the at this. I make the most complicated meals, like, like something I grew up making. Like it's like you're doubting me. Like I go mix. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Sometimes when you've made something in four years, you forget. No, I'm not like that though. Like if, like, babe, like I, I cook things like without even, in, like, I can have a big picture of like what I need to make, then step by step I construct it and then I make it. Yeah. So there's no forgetting. Um, I'm about to eat some shit with my hands. <laughs> I gotta get prepared for Africa. Damn, this is hot, babe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to roll in my hands, right? Yeah. <laughs> With one, two, one hand. One? <laughs> oh, you said. Why are you laughing at me? We're not close as yet. Like this. There you what? go. Yeah, then you Why get you. Why are you making you. fun of me? There you go. <laughs> So it's dinner time. We're gonna close the vlog now. I hope uh, you enjoyed somewhat of what we had to share with you during our day, even though it was just simple walking the dogs and just us doing things at home. So we're just here, just uh, relaxing and then eating uh, food. So thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you on the next video. Yeah, next week's gonna be well. Saturday we posted this, but the week after will be more exciting because we're gonna explore golf boards. There you go. Yeah, that's a spoiler. Spoiler right there. All right, guys. Ciao. Peace.